Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're in Carlisle, Pennsylvania at the Chrysler Nationals. And if you want to come out and have a great time, check out the description in the video of the CarlisleEvents.com website. With that, I'm with Vicki and Jay. Jay, your last name? Moser. Moser, and uh, they have a great car. Vicki, what car did you bring here today? 1971 Plymouth Road Iron. And the color on this one is? Plymouth calls it Bahama Yellow, and Dodge calls it Butterscotch. Now, um, you both are car people, and tell me a little bit about, uh, I'm going to get a little more description of you. Tell me about uh, how long have you had this car? We've had it since 2003. 2003. Vicki, come right alongside me. Tell me about your dad. How did that all work out growing up? When I was 16, we had 13 cars. <laughs> Mom wouldn't break her fingernail, so he elected me to help him work on the cars. And you became the girl who knew all the things about the cars. Yeah. So what kind of car were you first driving when uh, you would go to car clubs, correct? 19, I had a, my first car was a 1966 Barracuda. My second car was a 1970 Cuda 440, four barrel, automatic, Citroen Miss Metallic. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Jay, what were you driving at the time when you guys were at a car show together when you met? A uh, 69 Dodge Dart that I uh, put a 440 uh, big block engine in. Uh, Dodge Dart Swinger. Dodge Dart Swinger. And uh, so you were with him. Get together for a second, guys. So you were with him. So, so how did this all, how did this match made in heaven end up here? Who saw who? Well, <laughs> we were in a Mopar club in the Cincinnati area and one of my friends was talking to his brother and and he introduced uh, he introduced me to a guy that was in the club that she was in at the uh, car show at the Cincinnati Zoo and uh, that was it uh, so the zoo car show and you snagged him up <laughs> Come on over with me. <laughs> My uncle has a philosophy. He says they chase you until, or you chase them until they catch you. Guys, come right alongside me. Great stuff. All right. Now there's an interesting story about before you guys met. You both saw a car just like this at a different spot, and then when you got married, you needed one because you saw this car. So how did this? Give me a little detail here. And usually it's a little bigger engine than a 340, right? Yeah, usually the most common one is a 3D3 uh, is a standard engine and a Roadrunner, and a 340 was optional. And uh, also with the 446 pack and a 426 Hemi. So how did we go for the low, or how do you think they picked the uh, that option? Or just not sure? I'm not sure on this particular car. Um, um, well, rumor when, has it, uh, a friend of mine told me back in the day that they ran out of 383s where their supply was in short, they were in short supply, so they started making more 340 cars towards the end of the model year. Is that right? Is this a, is this a late model car? Yeah, this was a 3071. Wow. Love the plates, 71 B beep. And then I think the greatest tail exhaust of all time with the orange in the center to make it look like it's spitting flames. Let's open the trunk, shall we? So Vicki, tell me a little bit about uh, how you connected with this guy. You're telling me on the right over. When I saw his dart, I knew he was the one. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw his dart, I knew he was the one. Ah, oh, that's... That's definitely marriage made in heaven stuff. Yeah. So guys, if you need a dart swinger and you're single, apparently the dart swinger actually works. <laughs> they find you as a swinger. All right. So we'll shut that. Actually, just perfect. Just beautiful. How long was this car taken to restore? It took uh, two years to restore. With a lot of help from... Uh, a friend of mine, uh, Bob Ellis, did the body and paint work. And when was this car restored? 2009. Okay. Well, the restoration looks great. I mean, no doubt about that. 
Tell me where you found that shirt. <laughs> I found that on eBay. I knew I had to have it. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a no-brainer. And the seats were like this? No, uh, I had legendary uh, match the uh, the center color material to the body color uh, because black and orange wasn't an available option in that style. And they reproduced those covers, but they didn't have the anything to match the butterscotch till I asked them and we happened to find it. Well you guys have done this car really, really well. Who drives the car a little more? I probably do. So Jay, come here for a minute. So what's the reaction when you're driving this car in public? <laughs> Is that right? Yes. They do that? What's oh, your yeah. reaction in the passenger seat unless you're driving? <laughs> Same. Same? Lots of thumbs up? Yeah. Just an instant friend yeah. maker? Oh, yeah. yes. Hi. Do you, think it's the, do you think it's the color, the style, the combination? Probably the combination. But the, it does, uh, it is like uh, driving a UFO down the road. That's great stuff. And you guys have been watching the channel, you said, for a long time? Yeah. That's great. Let's uh, pop the hood, shall we? All right. It's really a treat to be able to see your car. And the sun's coming out right on it, right on time. You know, do, me, do me one favor. Just before you pop the hood, let's turn it on. Let's show them what the air grabber looks like. Okay. Thanks. So it says air grabber on the hood, and I think you'll enjoy this. I will close that. Just like so. Alright, let's pop the hood. Who uses the air grabber more between the two of you? I do. Do you do? Alright, <laughs> very good. on the hood based on the engine. Like I'm noticing Wiley e. Coyote here. Yeah. Technically this one should not have that air cleaner lid on it. Being a 340, but we thought it was too cool to be long. It would normally have a round yeah. air cleaner lid. Uh, 340. We get our BP horn. Go ahead, let's beat that horn. Beep, beep. Perfect. Let me listen to it for a second. Did you put a cam in it or anything? No, it's all stopped. It's got a great sound. Let's uh, step on the brake lights just so I can show people what that looks like. Jay, while you're there, give me a rev, would you please? Jay, do I have to let Vicky come in there and give it a rev? All right, that I'll accept. All right, there we go. All right, let's get together, guys. <laughs> Shut that down. Let's get together. What a treat seeing your car, a great color, a great body style, love the air grabber, love your story on how you guys met, two car lovers connecting over Mopars, <laughs> wonderful endearing story. Guys, thanks for being on the channel, thanks for being on My Car Story. <laughs> Thank you, Lou. Thank you. Beep, beep. Thanks guys.